Ayo, you should have known better, better to fuck with someone like me. Ayo, forever and ever you're gonna wish I was your wifey. Don't act so innocent. This was no accident. You planned this in the end, and now it's over. I say what you wanna say. You and I. Taste it. Oh, yeah.
Right, we're going to try this again. I'm going to switch games because this is not working and I thought it was. We're going to change it to Life is Strange. Just give me a minute whilst I uh, change game. I know this one will definitely stream. The annoying thing is, I tested the stream out, you said it worked fine. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. 
Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. I'm... Oh, okay. That's me. Ha <laughs> ha! Not watch. I'm looking at the TV screen. I'm wondering why it's not streaming in HD. I know the quality isn't the best guys, I'll try and fix it for next time, but for now I need to just stream something. This is really pretty. Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. Oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. <sighs> She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. I don't care about okay, any rewards, thank you. Can you just, just get up lost? The street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alice just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. Like I say, she I'm so nice. sorry about... Yeah, she's great. The quality of the stream. Hugs, though. I don't yeah, know no what... Shit. Welcome to Haven.
Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or... I saved too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I don't know. Although I'm not gonna lie, I have played through this once before, so I'm just gonna play. Okay, I think I was honest last time, so I'm gonna put be clever. I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What, uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> um... Suppose we got the sunflowers and those are the favorites. Although I did put that last time, so I'm gonna go Lily of the Valley. Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry, that I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No. Not yet, I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. So I'm guessing you're not really good at keeping flowers then? Hatch, that's like me. I'm surprised Arch has been alive this long. Don't they normally say that if you can't keep a flower, you can't keep a pet? And yet I can't keep flowers, so how has this one lasted me so long? Well, the little furballs are asleep on the bed right next to me right now. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. <laughs> Everything looks better with flowers. Ooh. This gnome has been places. <laughs> that guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Bird houses. The tiny house movement is really taking off.
I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. Again, I'm so sorry for how the stream looks right now, but for some reason it's not streaming in HD and it's really annoying me. But hey, you're getting a stream. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Anything else to look at? I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Um... Am I done here? I've forgotten what I'm doing because I've not played it in weeks. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. <laughs> She's worth it. Yeah. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. You need stable feet with left. Well, here we are. Hey, don't get snippy with me, pal. I'm just saying my Uncle Albert fell off a ladder once. He was repainting his roof. Beautiful mahogany color. You should have seen it. Anyway, broke his whole arm. The whole thing. Sounds awful. It was. He couldn't feed himself for a month. Why didn't he use his other arm? What's that now? His other arm. Why didn't he use his other arm to eat? You know what? I'm not sure. No one ever asked that before. You know what? Why don't you check next time you see him? Oh, he's dead. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Didn't know. Hey, that's fine. He was an awful guy. Oh, watch your feet. I'm sorry, I just like listening to into other people's conversations. I'm nosy. Next stop on the tour, delivering flowers. Yep. But I just wanted to listen into that conversation first. Let's go. Well, yeah, why are. did he use his other arm? Goat yoga? Wow. Just. Goat yoga classes into your body, free your mind, and do it all with tiny little goat feet on your back. Join us for a relaxing yoga session on our farm. Drop in or call Stacy at 970 555 Bergamot, Colorado. Sounds... Fun? Uh... What the shit is goat yoga? 
<laughs> yoga with goats. Welcome to Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What did you think of the show? I loved it. Every time I see Molly in the top, I think they get even better. Awesome. I'm so glad you liked it. I think it was even better than their set in LA. You saw that video, right? Yeah. That one was so good. But live is a whole nother thing, you know? Totally. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, not much. I think I'll meet with Katie and chill. You? Yeah. Don't know yet. I was, um... I was wondering if you wanted to prep dinner tomorrow, maybe? Oh, totes. I'll text Katie and Mark and see if they're down. Yeah, totally. But would you want to maybe go just the two of us? Oh. Like... like a date? Yeah. Can I... think about it? Yeah. Of course. Just... Let me know. Aww. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. <laughs> hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Nobody wants to keep bees as pets. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> it's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Mmm. Firing? I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man. I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan.
This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Unicorn sandwich. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's a cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. It 
It's been so long since I've played. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have played through this once. I don't know whether I mentioned it earlier on, my brain is just not working tonight. Especially with everything going completely wrong. Because for some reason it worked yesterday, it streamed and it was running really well. And I got... I wouldn't say pretty far into the game, I wasn't that far into the game at all. But I got further than I did just now when I tried streaming Silent Hill 2 and it was working fine. Um, now it just doesn't want to work. Funny that, isn't it? Anyway, yes, I know I'm looking at the stream now on my f TV and it should be in 1080p but it's not the best quality. I know it's not. And I don't know why. Where are perpetual motion? Looks exhausting. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? <laughs> Yeah, that always seems to be a thing. You, you, you so let's say don't do something, you want to do it anyway. So let's do it. Are you trying to die? <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. <laughs> Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. I love that this town has their own radio station. Um, books. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. You did a report on the book, but you never actually read it. How does that actually work? Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Hi, Valkyrie. Wait. Is that the hold list? Uh. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay. Just I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. The option was there. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. It 
Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. <laughs> you mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Oh, Wait gosh. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Although, speaking of Smash Mouth, there's one song that never gets old. And I think we all know which one I'm talking about. But hey, correct me in the comments. If you disagree. Maybe in the junk box. Oh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Be safe out there. <laughs> if I die a horrible cat related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Valkyrie's actually really cute. Gabe Chen, tiny blue bot. Or Kings of Leon. Should have known. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just, no, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the booth if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Okay. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Ugh, 
Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Hey, Lizzie! Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. I'm sorry about the... And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. The dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Oh, now, this choice, it got me first time playing through. By the way, we also got it paused. Hi, Lucy. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry about the quality of this thing as well. I don't know why it's... Um... Not streaming in HD. Also, um... How are you? Also, I was supposed to be streaming Silent Hill. Now, when I streamed it yesterday, it was working absolutely fine. There was no issues whatsoever. I was able to stream it. Today, however, it was slow and it was laggy and it was awful. So I decided to switch to Life is Strange. Now I'm slightly regretting it because now it's not streaming in HD, which I don't know why. Unless it's because I downloaded it through Xbox and it's that's how it's doing it. I don't know. I wasn't paying for it twice. So, next time I stream this, which will probably be tomorrow, I will try and see if I can sort it out so it can be a lot less blurry. Although, I can't promise anything. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is why it says Silent Hill 2 and not Life is Strange, because I was originally planning to stream Silent Hill 2. 
It didn't go well. Why am I yawning? <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning. I've been asleep all day. And why the heck? Where's YouTube? So I don't know if you're still in chat, but um, we're going to do this. Let's continue. Um, mm. Okay, should we tell or should we not? We'll let the chat decide. Go on. If anybody's in the chat, do you want to make a suggestion? I mean, I already know one of the options, but... That's okay, hon, and I'm not great, to be honest. I'll message you about it later on. Oh, please do. For now, can we just enjoy life as... I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not interested. Um, I'm not saying I'm not interested in what you have to say. But for now, can we just enjoy life as strange, and then you can tell me later? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not interested in what you have to say at all. But can we have this conversation after the stream? Please and thank you. I'm good, thank you. Um, continue. Tell him. Yeah, that's what I chose originally. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking... He mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. Y you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed. Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. 
You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> Oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. You do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight-up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. I do like this room, though. Shit, man. <sighs> this is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> what I think I'll do with this, sorry to pause it and interrupt, I'm sorry. Um, what I think I'll do is like the mini options, I think I'll choose myself. Well, then the major options, I'll leave it to you guys. Sounds fair, right? Like that option then, whether I wanted to either say it's nice or is that the best you could do. Like those kind of choices, I will choose myself. But apart, but the major choices, like whether I should tell Gabe about him going to the mic, the uh, what's his name, Tommy? I think it is it Tommy. I can't remember. Um, the little the kid. Anyway, um, whether I should tell him whether he's going to the mountains or not, like that was like a major choice. So those ones I'll leave to you guys. But apart from those little mini things, I think I'm just going to pick myself. I think that sounds fair. Um, so, uh... Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What do you mean, mine? What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe. I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> again? How many times has that happened before? do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? Don't 
Don't expect the beard. Oh, Ethan! Why did I say Tommy? I've played through this once already. Why don't I know characters' names? I'm an idiot. Um... I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. <laughs> hey, wait, am I going to get copyrighted for this? Feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. What even is that? You're way off tempo. <laughs> You just gotta let the beat flow through you. <laughs> You're choking things at me now? Okay, let's show him how it's done. Okay. Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass uh, right now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. Not my place, Mac. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. Just 
fucking psycho. You can both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. I didn't want to hit you. Fuck. Welcome to Colorado. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. He's mad. Great. I repeat, welcome to Colorado. First night here and I want to get into a fist fight. Then he ended up hitting my brother in the process. Great. Possibly. Yeah, it's the whole Kings of Leon thing. I know I use, like, copyrighted music at the start of my streams anyway. I'm okay. But... Because this was during the stream, and it's during the game, I'm like, am I still going to get copyrighted even with editing the whole first few songs out? Because obviously Kings of Leon's an actual band, so it's like... <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. We're glad you're okay. Now can we please continue? Oh, that sounds really insensitive. Might as well unpack. That sounds insensitive. I'm sorry. Um. Mariella? I don't remember reading half of this. Oh yeah, she has a couch that she uh looking for somewhere to I'm looking for somewhere to stay. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> Gabe. Free drinks tonight at the Black Lanterns to celebrate my sister's arrival. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. What the hell is wrong with you, kid? The, the most certainly are not. It's too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Gain it for free. Just try it. Can confirm Alex is great. Can't confirm how she turned out so well and you turned out so... you. It's an H and H, I think. Okay, Riley has kind of the same sense of humour that I have. Anyway, moving on. Um, gotta love Gabe, right? Um, medals. What an honor. To be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. <laughs> okay, that's a thing, apparently. 
Haven Spring Cycle Tour 2016, second place. 2017, Haven Spring Triple Duck Derby. Sword. Is that a sword? Yes, I know it's pronounced sword. I was being stupid, just in case anybody was chilling and thinking I was being stupid. We didn't even get to finish the song. Huh. You've really changed the art style since I read these. You wouldn't want that looking over you in the night, would you? Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. The Spacious Embrace, Responsibility Parenting Your Independent Child, Annabelle Leitman, whatever that name is, PhD. Chapter 4 is the most important, let's discuss it over wine. I love you, C. Wait, is she trying to tell Gabe something? That sounds to me like she's trying to tell him something. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. <laughs> Haven Spring, number one choice for indie rock. Okay. Photo, let's Whoa. have a look at that. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. But that was a chore. Um, I'm being nosy in the flat. Uh, let's see. Oh, photo. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Oh, she's sweet. Don't know what she's doing with Gabe, though. <laughs> Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. Moving on. Another thought. I just bit my tongue. Ow. <laughs> no way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Let's see. Nope, the pink one isn't available yet, but I do like the teddy bear. I'm going to keep the teddy bear. That's cool. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe.
Okay, you've got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention centre. Detention centre? I have questions now. Sure, you told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never see anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Well, it went very well because he's now found me. I wonder if he ever replied to this. No, I can't go upstairs yet. Go on, I'll have a quick go. I won't play it too much because I'm on stream. That noise will annoy me. down This is where I die No, don't. Ah! Come on, get up! Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's as far as I'm ever going to get. Okay, moving on. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Right, well... Um... Oh, okay. I love that tiger poster. Oh god. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. They know the tomb to the monster stronghold of Demonheim collapsed. <laughs> what is it with you and whacking with your tail? It's you! It's you! Archie, get your paw off the computer. I'm trying to stream. <sighs> Excuse me. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Miss Lee, your application for CIT 2019 Summer Programming Launchpad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from the admission will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Gabe, it's happening! Please, please, please help me prep. Riley. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this... ...butthole a couple times for a later stay and now he is harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor's a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. 
Anyway, hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you messed her up? Miss your dumb butt, Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologise. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting. It was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. I really wish those mitts had worked. She, to me, sounded like she took on something that she wasn't ready for. Sounds like someone in my staffing that did the same thing. Abigail Lynn, MD, patient name, Alex Chen. Alprazolam, ER, 6 milligrams. Chelsea, the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single poopy thing from sun up to sun down. Mmm, wish I could say the same thing for me. Mm, this place is driving me up the wall. Real talk, though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy even, and even loved when you were around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Haley's butt, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. Oh, that's sweet. Excuse me. Alex. Do I want to know? Apparently I don't have a choice. I'm just going to nosy in anyway. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oregon Department of Human Services, Child Welfare Offices. Multnomah County, Loretta Vance, Program Manager, Child Placement and Welfare. Blah, blah, blah. Unable to release location. Try Program Director, Amy at blah, blah, blah. Alex placed at group home in Portland area. Helping Hands group home. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you are doing well. After all these years, Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system, and we don't know where she lives now. Here is the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Line only available third Wednesday of month? What? That seems kind of bad. Try human services as opposed to animal services? Child welfare, we wish you luck in finding her. Best. The Moraleses. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Crazy how much we've changed. <sighs> so 
So why has he kept the dad in his the, the, the dad in his picture? My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Tessa anger, bitter and jealous, and a little and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess! I split her lip open. Poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take her. It'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. Makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter. Now, she keeps to herself most of the other... She keeps to herself... Most of the other kids do, actually, if I can read that properly. I'm sorry. I can't read, apparently. So that's to be business as usual until a new group comes in and this starts all over again. The worst part? They confiscated my guitar. Two-week ban. At least I get it back. I promise, I promise, it's not what you say. No favours, no secrets, none coming my way. And after all this, you still had to pay. Isabel, anguish. I tried to write this so many times and they all ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I really like Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint and smuggled in a few beers for us on the weekends. But her depression was brutal. It crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone and I had to focus just to keep breathing, like dipping your ribcage in, in lead. It was hard to get away from. Eventually it got too much, two bottles of sedatives lying in vomit, her eyes open and glassy and afraid. I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavoured holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. If I ever see you again, I'll bring the beer. Mac, anger. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door. Like something was slipping under the frame. Something red. Something raw. Then there's Mac, and that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control, and no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone and it's going to happen and no one else can make me stop. Max Anger felt hot and dizzy and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. The thought of her with someone else, the thought of her with anyone else, it was under his skin, burning. That feeling, like hot cords grinding around, the, around behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over. When your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from hummingbird to lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologise for something like that? Seize, breathe, cleave. These threads that bind us up, they burn and weave. Inside my ribs, they hurt until you leave. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. G. Oh, that's sweet.
Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before Couldn't look you in the eye Dressed like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here. Can I help you? You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Although what you did was a complete accident. You weren't trying to hit him, you were trying to beat the living daylight out of poopy head. Just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> huh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that does. Archie! One second.
Can you hear me? Message deleted by words. Ah, you're still there then, Lucy. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, thank God for that. Right, we can continue. Doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. No, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Now there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Um, I don't know. Because a lot of things have happened today. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can't imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? <laughs> I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty, though. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Um, let's go with Gabe's story. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, then. Wow. Tetanus, anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. Oh. 
Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. <laughs> they went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved... I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I do. Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. He was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Um, do I want to play this? Because last time I played through this and I got it completely wrong. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Box is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. Oh, I hate this game. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? I can't remember what it was last time.
Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. So it has four words or more, and it's not got an animal on it. Lucy, can you note these down? It doesn't have an animal on the cover, and there's more than four words, so it's not this one. It's not... Right, let me just get my notes up. I want to do this. I want to get it right. Um... Not Doc So any with four words or less It's not got an animal on the cover Uh Be that one. I'm making a list on my this is what I mean on my phone. I'm making a list of what it could be and what it's not. So at the moment I've got it's not Doc Scruffin, not McFadden, and not at M um, Sand. And it could be should have been me yesterday. Because that has more than four words. Right, next one. It's not that one because it has an animal on the cover. So... It's not that one because it's got an animal on the cover, so it's not that one. Um, it's not that one. It's got less than a word in the title. Panoramica. Oh, be right back. I've got to let the king in. One second. I do want to do this. Be right back.
Um. Oh, the name of Judas. Theodosius. Uh, next one. It could be that one, Mr. Be Mrs. Beatrix and I. Okay, it could be this one, Fusky and Wags. Mildred Cross and the Watermelon Floss Brigade. Next one. Uh, Hero with a thousand rhymes. Heartstrings is not. Wait, hold on. Did I make a mistake on one of them? Yeah, I've got that under the knot. Oh, it's got birds on the cover. Right, hold on. Um, it's got birds on the cover, so it can't be that one. That's my bad. I made a mistake somewhere. but I really want to get this um this could be it
the monkey brain. Is that classed an animal then? I'm going to say that's classed as an animal. Sheets of the wind. Right, we've got to ask another question because it's about one, two, three, four, seven. It could be. Band name. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. You've got two questions left. It's more than one word. So, this one it can't be. Any bands with one name? Ordinary Judas.
right, next question. So, does the song title have a curse word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. No curse words in the title. people on the cover. No? Yeah, no. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. It's not a one-word band name. No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. The closest thing I can, I can get is that one. I don't know. Is it that one? No, it's not. Oh. Sorry. All right. Let her drink me. It's not as bad as it looks. How was it? It's actually delicious. <laughs> you should try one. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. I wanted to get that so bad. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, there's sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. I'm my extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. I mean, sure, but it's not like the CIA or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoops since Noah built the Ark. But things are the way they are. Sure, I know. I'm just venting. Really, I, I like my job. And the Oscar goes, too. <laughs> Don't fret. I'm not going to turn you in for sedition or anything. I have some advice. Thanks. Don't mention it. If I had to hold in every gripe I have about Typhon, I'd have popped like a damn balloon by now. Oh, is that really Ryan? Can I get you two anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. 
Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. And I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Speak to him. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Oh, good. Looking for his whiskey. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and... And I need to sleep! Peak. Yep, and Mount Huron, and the Devil's Tail. Amazing. Is that just I love hole? Maine, but I need to hike some real mountains. But first, you're gonna get the Full Haven experience, starting right here in the famous Black Lantern. Oh, it's pretty... eclectic. Do you think Mom and Dad will like it? I was thinking of bringing them here, too. Oh, yeah. Old wood is Dad's favorite aesthetic. So, how was getting here? Longer drive than you thought? <sighs> I actually got kind of lost. Did you ask for directions? I'm listening then. I wouldn't need directions if the signage didn't stink. Ah, you're just stubborn. <laughs> hey, I am not. Oh, it's like a larger version of Valkyrie. Maybe you'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds.
guess these were for mining. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Right, let's go and check on Mac. And clean the table whilst I'm at it. Shit. Now Mac's scared. It should be. At least he's not freaking out anymore. But wait a minute, today, wait. Control. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. Attack board using teleminer on 1880. Each miner removed his check tag at the end of the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? Do I want to talk to him right now? No. No way. Come on, please. Listen. What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Manly, yeah. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? Yo, it's a lie. You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. No! is wrong with you oh my god look at your face no, it's okay don't even what were you thinking where's gabe why do you give a shit because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him i swear this is it have a good explanation or we're done no, it's, it's not my fault I just wanted to talk to the guy about what? about you about why you guys are meeting behind my back okay so how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? <laughs> okay, I know I picked... Call him out, but I played it through first time. But seriously, this dude's a bit of a butthole. So I do want to see what happens the other way, but not every time it seems like every time I play something, I'm always gonna pick 
the correct choice, which is to tell her what actually happened. Uh, if you're there, Lucy, do you want to give your two cents? Because uh, I know you are uh, probably with your parents right now, but uh, this phone wants charging up. I'll give her a couple of minutes to answer. If she doesn't answer, then I'll choose myself. Oh, you're still there. Good. I would say tell her. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a butthole. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm going to, have to take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Right? <laughs> Even I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? When you think you're just going to be arrested. <laughs> I'm probably about to end this at some point. Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. Finding gratitude in the midst of chaos. New course beginning 4 to 6, Mondays at 7.30. Treasures of Tibet. Uh, anything else in here? Oh wait, can they not play the other one? Oh, that's a pile of poop. What's up with him? Jed? Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. 
Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covered for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. I wonder... Oh. I was gonna say I wanted to get that drink from the cop, but it's forced me to go upstairs, so never mind. Ah, oh, that's pretty. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, Guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. No, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac, and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days I... I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. 
Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Hmm. Any ideas? Well, so I get this chocolate bar. You told him about the pen, okay. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac, I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, no one told me that. I just feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe, I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. (laughs) 
getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips, but you're strong. You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. I think we're almost at the end of the first chapter now, aren't we? So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think I can guess where he's gone. You don't think... Maybe. Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land, outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his minor in training. That was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. 
At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Something tells me those two weren't the best match. Right, front door, let's try that. Cool. A murder barn. <laughs> nope. 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 Super nope. I think when I come back tomorrow, I will start this a lot sooner. Like, six. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. zombie the least creepy thing out here hey bro want to get wasted at the old mine the real monster here is underage drinking you don't realize until you're up close but mining equipment is super murdery Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. <laughs> right, so how do I get in? My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. What happened here? Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. 
The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. Aha! The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. Right, so we want to go closer to... There. Um... went a different way. Any luck? Been a minute since I tried to break a lock. I've lost my edge. <laughs> what, what you told me before, if he were out here and like feeling something, could you use it to find him? Uh, he'd have to be feeling it like a lot. Like, really strong. Even then, I don't know. Guess it was worth a shot. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. I need to crawl into bed. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I got some good news for you. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it, it seems like a slim chance, but... What? It's a long shot, but there's a couple disconnected wires in the box. Uh, a red one and a blue one.
noted. Oh, I'm getting drowsy. Okay, Thanor. How'd you get out of here? Yeah, I can save it yet, can I? Oh, they're fine. Right, okay, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Uh, about six o'clock. I'm going to get the end of this done and the next chapter done tomorrow. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.